what is going on everybody today we're going to be talking about how you can trade reversals i'm going to give you a very very simple strategy with some very simple criteria so if you're interested in that please stay tuned first of all though if you're new here um this is the channel where i basically share my my journey uh, learning to trade and uh, i'm also going to help you teach help teach you all the things you need technical psychological with you know no hype just uh just plain simple techniques so let's get straight into it so the idea with a reversal is essentially what most people think it is anyway is picking a top or a bottom okay so it's looking at you know maybe zooming back um, and let's say you had this level marked on, you know, and getting to here. And it's essentially trying to call the bottom. So, you know, you might place a trade here, have a 20 pip stop, and then look to take it up to about there. Okay. And as you already know, this didn't work. Now, I'm not saying that it would never work, but essentially we want more evidence because ultimately our only job um, is to gather as much evidence and weigh up the probabilities in our favor. So we can see that the market is currently going down. <clears throat> it's currently going down. We can see that through the structural lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, etc. Okay, and what we're looking for is we're looking for signs that this trend is slowing down okay so this is the first step is look for signs that the trend is slowing down how do we do that well there's load there's loads of ways that you can do it some people use divergence some people use this or that but in this video i'm just going to purely use price action okay so we can see that price is currently finding more resistance at this level than it has made at previous support levels okay now at this stage does this mean that we are just gonna go in like this no why are we not going to go and do this because all we've really seen is we've seen a temporary halt of price here in a very strong downtrending market okay so what we need is we need more confirmation so we wait and see see this is a perfect example where people get stopped out on reversal trades and stuff like that. What we want to see is we want to see a clear halt and we want to see a break of a range and then we can look to take it up. Okay. And when I say range, I'll explain a bit more about what I mean. I don't just mean, you know, a classic big consolidation because that's not always necessary. But yeah, let's just get into it. So if we move this level here, I'm just marking these levels on in real time just so that we are aware of what is going on. Okay, so we can see that we've created three major touches here. You could even say two here. Okay, and if we look, we are basically in this range. So this is what I mean by a range. This is the current range that we're trading in. You could even have it up here on these highs here. Uh, but for this, let's just have it. Yeah, let's just have it around there. So at this point, we can see we're still bearish, still going down. Okay, and now we begin to see a few things. Okay, the first one being, if we look at the strength of the, bear, of the bears here, we have obviously gone down. Okay, now if you want to visually see this, you could do maybe something like this. Not a big fan of this red color. Okay, so we can see that going strongly down here. And then if we connect the last few on the bottom, what do we see? Well, we can see that it's ever so slightly converge. <coughs> sorry. Ever so slightly converging. Now, what that basically means is it means that the bears had strength, consistent strength going down, but in terms of the lower lows they're making, they're getting less and less steep. Now, that's one way of visualizing it on a chart, okay? Another way you could do it is that you can just simply measure out how many pips. So this lower high to this lower low was 75 pips. This lower high to this main lower low is about 54 pips to, or 68 pips, depending how you want to calculate it. 
okay uh, and then as we get to these most re the most recent we've only got 47 pips okay so whether you draw it as a kind of convergence like that as we just drew on before or you actually physically measure it out or use fibs or something like that it doesn't matter ultimately it's showing you the same thing okay and that is that the bears are losing strength at this current point in time okay so if we just remove this for now and look at this as our main kind of trading range we when we start seeing shifts in market structure we can begin making some more uh some bigger assumptions okay so at this point we're not ready we're just kind of waiting and seeing what happens okay so we can see that we faked out we broke up broke out and broke back in now we look like we're heading for the level okay so at this point we've broken above this level that we've had defined and we are look like we're rejecting this level now this could be an aggressive buy entry here however if you want to have the highest probability which i highly recommend when trading reversals because reversals are notoriously uh much 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 harder to trade than you know trend following strategies and if you're new i highly recommend you only do trend following strategies but what we have here is we're holding this level here and what does this mean well it means that we are showing some kind of bullish um, pressure in the market that we um could be potentially going higher now this again the reason this is aggressive is because we've reached here before and come back down and we've kind of created this mini range um within the overall range here okay but what we're looking for now is we're looking for ideally a break of the structure a retest and then we can take it right here on that retest okay very very simple now remember this might not always happen and it is your job to if it suddenly starts going down here and then down and further down it is your job to adapt that is the price of trading okay and so let's just wait and see what happens okay so we see a strong push down okay this is very very normal the reason is because we've had a big bearish um move down and it's very unrealistic after a big set big trend like this to suddenly just break structure and just fly to the upside it does happen but it is significantly more rare okay what is much more likely to happen is as you see here we go down trending then we start getting a little bit choppy we start making higher highs then maybe a couple more low lows and then we eventually go up this is what a standard reversal will look like okay so just have that in mind but also don't you know marry that idea because sometimes it can just reverse quickly but most of the time it won't okay so this is a perfect example we see this strong bearish push down we're still we still have bears in the market um, and we just need to wait and see okay so this is our current structural low here so let's just see how we react there okay so we can see that we have broken but are we going to hold do not know yet okay so at this point we can begin getting rid of this previous structure and as i said this is a perfect example of needing to adapt okay this is just a random place in the market so i haven't seen if this is going to be a good reversal area um i know that there is going to be one eventually but i have no idea where it's going to be okay so at this point we've made this small little range within here because we've got a high a low a high a low and then it looks like we're reaching for the high again Okay, we've seen another rejection. Okay, so now we've seen a break of this little range here. Now, this is important because it means that now when we are marking out our levels, we can begin seeing different shifts in, in the market. So if you wanna be really conservative, I would advise waiting for this level to break. If you are more aggressive, however, you can wait for a retest of one of these structures um, before taking a trade. So if we get one okay so what do we have here well we seem to have a strong break now this break is not confirmed without a retest why do i say this is a strong break because if we look at the candles leading up to it we can see that in about one two three hours of data we've got uh we've got signs that price is holding these levels whereas if you look here we can see that we came up lots of upper wicks whereas we've got very small upper wicks in this one so again this right here lovely lovely 
um, sign because we've come back, we've retested it. And if we go down to a lower time frame, we'll see that this is a retest here. Now, don't panic at this point. And you know, if you wanna be really aggressive, again, you can do something like this. Okay, and then whatever your target will be, we'll get onto that in a minute. But once we've got this, we just we now have that confirmed. And so we want to wait for it to come back and retest that level. Because as much as it would be great just to constantly get in on the first retest, the most reliable way is to wait for it to retest once and anticipate a second, third, or fourth retest of a level. Okay, so let's cut down to our entry time frame. We know that this is the level that we're looking for because we know that currently the market direction looks like it could be going up. Okay, so let's just wait and see if we get a second retest. Again, another thing to note here is you can trade off these levels here, but just be aware that overall, it's very, very likely, not guaranteed, but likely that the one hour structure is going to want to come back and revisit some of those old levels. Okay, so here's a classic example would have worked absolutely lovely here. At this point, we can see that we are going up, but we are due a retrace at some point. Okay, so let's just stay strong and see what happens. So here, we've got a level here in the market. Okay, so cut down to the 15 minute. This level is probably gonna be a little better. Okay, so we've got a nice wick rejection here. We've got previous rejections at this level on the 15 minute. If we look at how it looks to us on the one hour, we can see uh, that it's rejecting nicely off here, but we still haven't retested this overall area that we broke before. Yeah, so I'd ideally like to see it break this level um, and you know touch down somewhere in this region, okay? If we look here, I'm just extending this out here because we can see that these wicks here have extended this far up. So it's likely that this is the rough area that we're looking for. Okay, you've got to also bear in mind that a lot of retail buyers will be coming in here um, thinking, great, you know, we've caught the beginning of a new trend and blah, blah, blah. And whilst that's great, uh, we want to wait for a stronger confirmation. Okay, and want to wait for those retail buyers to get uh, knocked out. Great. So here we've got a very strong bearish candle. Okay, so now we've got a bullish candle. This is our entry signal. Why is it our entry signal? Because we've touched off this one hour zone. We've already built a case for the reversal and we've been extremely patient. Okay. And so if we just put our stops below this zone, it's about, let's just do about 18 pips. In fact, let's just do 20 pips just to do a round number. Okay. Now to targets. So let's get to the one hour. Now, for targets, we can basically, I'll do the most recent major fib. Okay, this is just a very simple way to do it. The reason I've done it from this low is because these levels where we're rejecting off now lines up with the 70 and this is also a higher low, specifically the higher low before we broke these key levels and changed direction. So this for me would be a very powerful level. In terms of targets, you can target the 100%, target up there for a nice two to nine. Uh, the minus uh, 0 0.272 or the minus 618. Okay, so as this is a reversal, let's aim for this and then we can take partials off at these levels uh, as we see fit. Okay, so now that we've got the FIB done, we don't need that on our charts anymore. We can also get rid of this level and let's just see what happens. Okay, that's a very, very strong first candle. Okay, so this level, you can take some partial profit. Okay, now again, it depends on the type of trader you're going to be. But if you're going to be a, a reversal trader, the chances are you're going to want to be catching those bigger moves because there's no point waiting all the time for those reversals if you're only going to be getting tiny moves because reversals are rare and therefore when they happen, you want to be catching, capturing a new trend. Okay, and also another way to get targets is if you go to a higher time frame and just look at the next nearest level um, of major, major resistance. So we're talking major highs and major lows. So for now, this is fine. So let's just wait and see what happens. So if we look at this trade and we look and see this is a level where we're likely to see rejection because we've broken past these highs and we're coming back to essentially retest it. Okay, so we want to ideally see new structure form very soon. 
Okay, so we're kind of ranging at this level now. Okay, this is an Asia session, so this would be an overnight trade. Okay, it's up to you if you want to go break even or anything like this, but if you're in, if you live in the same time zones or similar ones to me, then this will be when you're sleeping, essentially. So just one of those things. And again, with reversal trades, a lot of the times you are going to get price action like this. So let's just play this out and see what happens. Okay, so it's a very average day, to be honest with you. Um, and we would have taken partial profits off here. Or if not, if you just decide to hold, then, you know, just be patient and see what happens. Okay, lovely. So we've reached our second partial profit target here. Um, if you don't know where that was, or you'd like me to be more clear on that, if we draw our fib from where we drew it before to here, our second partial profit area would be at this level here. And then our third one and final TP is obviously round about there. I put it a little bit under just so that we've got <clears throat> a clear level, more of a chance of hitting it. I think, ooh, very close. Be patient, be patient, be patient, and we should be fine. Okay, but either way, it should go up. Let's just see. Let's cut to the one hour so that we don't have to wait as long. There we go. Beautiful. So whether you decide to hold over, you know, a week basically, or do whatever, or if you want to do the exact same process on the lower time frames, maybe use your 15 minute as your higher time frame, and the one minute or the five minute for entries, whatever you want to do. Okay, it does not matter. Okay. And I'll give you an example of what that would look like if that is something that does interest you. If we look here, for example, Um, if we just look in this area here, what does this look like to you? If we just look at this and then we reverse, okay? If we looked at nothing else, so let's just look at this. So let's just say we're on the 15 minute, okay? And we ignored everything to the left. We can see that we're going up, but then we meet a level of resistance, okay? So then we mark out the range that we're in, okay? And the range is roughly about there, okay? So if this range breaks to the downside, we can begin making an argument for bearish pressure. We faked out to the top, caught loads of buyers on the wrong side, made a one, two, three, four quadruple top. You know, and if we have the, if the 50 minutes are higher time frame, then we cut down to maybe the one minute. You know, it's possible that you could then start looking for sales um off of some of these levels okay i'm not saying that it's definitely going to hit your tp or anything like that but nevertheless it doesn't matter what your high time frame is as long as you are using a high time frame for the reversal strategy because if you just use one time frame which i talk about in other videos then you're going to run into some problems because you are going to um you're going to be basically just trying to chase the highs and lows. Um, whereas if you've got some form of a higher time frame outlook, it's going to help you a lot with that. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Um, the kind of key takeaways are make sure you've got a higher time frame, be patient, wait for clear range and structure to, to break and do not rush for those highs and lows. It would have been easy to take a trade um, up here or here or here or here and then just only to get stopped out so if you want to get those bigger moves this is the way to do it so i really appreciate you watching um i look forward to seeing you on the next one uh, and until then uh if you'd like to subscribe then do all that stuff like the video i'd really really appreciate it uh, also if you'd like to see more technical videos like this and any particular type then just leave um that request in the comment below and i'll get back to you or if you'd like to see more psychological based videos then um then let me know that as well thank you very much and i'll see you soon